Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. For those who are doing shrimp farming, you might already know how dissolved oxygen is very important for the growth of your shrimps as it allows them to metabolize the feed properly and reduces your FCR. So like any good farmer, it is very important for you to measure that your DO is sufficient for any shrimp farming and so in this video i'll be go going through our experiences in using a henna probes which have been using actively over in our farms so stay tuned Welcome back guys. For those that are new to RS Aquaculture, we produce content with regards to indoor shrimp farming with Bioflock as well as outdoor shrimp farming as well. And we also produce contents on rust systems for mud crab. So if you'd like to get a weekly notification, do like and subscribe to our channel so that you'll get a weekly notification. So back to our topic for today. As you can see in the past, we all have been using test kits to measure the oxygen in the system. While this is accurate, it takes a lot, a lot of time especially if you have a lot of small tanks in your system so what we did next was to purchase a DO meter from Hana. so the first model I bought was this model so it's actually a very cool model it allows you to log in real time what are the dissolved oxygen for every one minute or five minutes interval we typically use this in our shrimp farm and you can see it also has an external light so great for conditions where it's not well lit especially if you are taking the dissolved oxygen early in the morning right and the next model we actually bought was a entry level model because we realized that you know some of the memory function although is really useful it's not required on every scenario so we bought another model for our indoor shrimp farm where we are manually recording down all of the dissolved oxygen value so it's actually the meter that you see on the left and we compare it with our higher end model as well results were actually very similar and repeatable uh, although the entry model the one you see on the left only does measure ph and temperature in contrast to do right it even has a carrying case uh, for you to put in all the probes and even the meter which is a great deal because uh, usually at our farms at night we'll lock up everything and keep the meter in a safe uh, closet to prevent uh, anybody from taking it because it's quite an expensive item so on top of that we also had a meter in the past that we have actually bought for other projects and it's not working anymore because there were some issues on the probe so we decided for to buy a unit that is similar to this in hopes that it can also you reuse some of the spare part in case there were any failure so only using for the new meter for about two months this is what actually happened and we sent it back to the technician which is uh, in henna and you can see that one of the wires inside the probe has actually been damaged as you can see the technician you know you know once it turns it around sometimes the probe gets a reading and you know only at the extreme end by turning over that side you get a reading which indicates a faulty line in the probe, right? So the official advice from Hannah at the moment is for us to replace the probe, which got me really puzzled because I have actually two pieces of equipment that are similar, but they have the same failure history in which both of them have issues in the probe. And for both models, the official advice for us was to change the probe which is really weird considering the amount of probability that two models actually fail in the same place so this is actually the model that i already have in my farm uh, which was already left over from the previous projects so you can see that you know it's already a quite old membrane it's already worn out so this is where they house the membrane for the sensors to take the dissolved oxygen as you can see it has a nice cover as well and this is where the linkage between the wires and the probe is actually at so as you can see you know you can unscrew it but there's actually no way for you to take out and check whether the wires are compromised because in reality if it's just a quick fix we could just open it up and solder but i believe they have all of the wiring or epoxy so we can no longer open it up and we are now faced to you know change another probe so just to show you you know for this model um it is actually a fully functioning meter and the issues is at the probe we will you know put in new batteries because this has been sitting around for a long time uh, and my hopes was you know if we had any other problems with the other meter 
uh, that I just sent back for servicing, maybe the body or the meter, we could use the probe from the new sensor or the DO probe and put it in this working meter and probably make up a fixed unit. And you know, we wouldn't expect it to be two months just after using a new probe, right? So as you can see, after change, after changing the battery and just tightening it, we can no issue. We can power up. The, the probe so we actually have two models having the same issues with the probe and both advice from them is to just change a new probe which is approximately half the price of the whole new meter right so that's a bit um weird to see but we are still following up with the parties in hana Ho hopefully we could get it under a warranty so that you know we get a replacement because it's only for two to three months and it's all happening in the same area so this video is really about, you know, for those who are looking into buy a DO meter and what aspect you need to take off. Of course, apart from accuracy, there's also very important such as reliability and robustness of equipment. And, you know, customer service is also really important from the brand to ensure that, you know, you don't have any issues when you're in the middle of a shrimp farming cycle or you have to revert back to using this old technique such as test kits. Although, although accurate, but it takes a bit of time you know which will you might not have due to the lack of manpower so that's all for this video we hope to see you back again at rasa culture at a later time and we'll give you an update on the status of our probes